Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing your weekly uh, reading, and it's going to be for uh, my Leos. And it will be for the 12th through the 18th of April. Hope you guys had a great week. Uh, New York, it has been wonderful weather. Oh, my goodness. Um, it's been in the 60s and 70s here in New York. So it is beautiful. Uh, the sun has been shining. It has been absolutely uh, fantastic. So anyways, let's get on with your reading and see what's going on with you guys. Let's give these five shuffles. There's one. Two. Three. Four, five. Angels, guides, and spirits. What is it that Leo needs to know for the week of the 12th through the 18th, please? Hope you guys like this music in the background. I just, uh, I love the, love this um, music. It's just, this is an energy music, so it's, to take negative energy out and oh my goodness, it's just beautiful. Three more. Two more. One more. Spirit, guys, angels. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. First cards I read are going to be your inner cards. These are your inner influences. These are the cards that are here now or going to be coming in this week. This uh, first one I have is the Eight of Hearts. This is the cat. This is flattery. So there's some flattery and some mystery going on with this cat. So somebody may be flattering you. Um, and they're, they're kind of mysterious. They're like a mystic type person. They're very um, intriguing and you want to get to know them better. Um, the next one I have is the King of Hearts, and this is the hand in hand. And uh, this indicates that uh, if you are single, a person um, that is a friendship that you have is going to warm into more than just a friendship. Um, it's going to turn into maybe a love affair. Um, if you are married, it means you're married to your best friend. So that's awesome. Then I have the Jack of Diamonds. This is the rider. This is good news is coming into you. And it will be coming in quickly. So that's awesome. The Jack of Hearts. This is the book. And this is a discovery um, that you're going to find out about a person. Um, it's going to be a mystery type thing. That you're going to find out about this person. But it is for the best that you find this out. Um, whatever it is you find out about this person. It's a mis that mystery. Um, it's going to be for the best. I have the Four of Spades. This is um, the eye. And this denotes that great interest is being taken by your friends. Um, your friends um, take great interest in you. They watch you. Somebody is watching you from a distance um, and wants to get to know you a little bit better. I have the five of um, clubs, and that is the clover. So that is uh, good tidings are coming into you. Um, that is great news. Um, so all things look good there. Happiness will follow. Five of spades is the coffin, okay? This foretells an illness um, that you of somebody that you know who maybe lost their property due to an illness. And um, they may be put into a nursing home or a uh, uh, aging home of some sort, maybe a hospital, something to do along the aspects. If this person is still alive, contact this person because there's something that they want to talk to you about. There's something that it needs to be said, something that needs um, 
something that's going to be said that you need to hear. Okay. If it is a distant person, somebody that has passed, um, look for signs. There is uh, uh, something that they want to tell you and it is coming in clear um, and they want to, to show you. So look for signs of them coming up. Write down your dreams. See if you see them in a dream of some sort because this person wants to tell you something. Three of diamonds. Um, your money is going to be a little on the um, side. This You're not going to have as much money. Um, those losses may be uh, coming in. Um, you, so you, that money isn't going to... You're not going to have a lot of increase in any money this week. All right, let's read your outer cards. These are the cards that are sitting out there waiting for waiting to come into you. So they're out there. They're waiting. Five of diamonds is the anchor card. Okay, this is success in all of your ventures, um, but in business and in love, but you need to stay where you're at. Okay, if you are married, stay with that person. Um, there's going to be like a rekindling type, sh you know, relationship coming in. So stay with this person. Business-wise, you are going to have advancement in the current job that you're at. So stay where you're at. Stay put. Queen of Hearts. This is the ring. Okay. This means that you are going to find the person that is right for you. Um, and you may be getting married. Um, if you are married, you're going to have a happy marriage. Um, everything looks happy. There's no disappointment here. Two of clubs is the railroad. This is a long journey that you've been going on. And um, this journey is near. This journey is about to end. So um, that is good. And, uh, you know, sometimes we go through this long journey in life. And we look at things and, you know, it... We, we were like, oh my gosh, this has been taking forever to go through this. Maybe a sickness, an illness of some sort. And it's been taking a while to get over it. It's about to end. Whatever it is, is about to end. Jack of Spades is the shepherd. This foretells an intense love of life. You love life. And you have strong feelings towards other people. Um, you care about other people. So that's wonderful to have. Eight of diamonds. Broken glass. Do not gamble. It is um, saying that you're going to have some ill luck for some time. So gambling wise, uh, playing the lotto, um, putting your names in drawings, things along that nature. You're not going to be as lucky as you once were. Next I have is the King of Clubs, and this is the bear. And this uh, is success. Um, it is uh, motherly success, nurturing success, loving success is coming into you. The Ten of Hearts is that bouquet of flowers, and that indicates a long and a happy life. With children, if um, the children are near, um, so everything looks good in your family life. Seven of spades is the clouds. Okay, this is um, the bright side is towards you. So that means that uh, this is domestic happiness is here for you. That, that is amazing. See, the bright side is towards you. So happy, happy life there, guys. All right, so let's um, talk to spirit. Or universe. Let's talk to universe. Wow. I'm, um, let's talk to universe and see if universe wants to add to that reading or give us some extra input into that reading for us. Let's get these four shuffles. There's one. Two. Three. Last one. Universe, give me um, some clarification on that reading or add to that reading I just did for my Leos, please, for the week. That one hopped out and went right back in.
We have Childhood. We have Dragonfly, DNA, Waterfall, and Fairies. Okay. So they want you to um, look at things in a new light. Look at things as if you were a child and you're seeing them for the first time. Okay. Um, look at your karma. Look at the things that you do. Okay. You put good energy out. Good energy comes back. You put bad energy out. Bad en energy comes back to you. Look at your DNA. Okay. So remember karma. You know, good comes in. You know, bad. You know, if you put out bad, bad comes in. Good comes in if you're taking good out. Um, they want you to start to emerge. Start to uh, think about things. Start to look at the decisions you make. Um, and like I said, look at things through the innocent eyes of a child. Um, you know, look at things through different aspects and see how that works for you. Um, once we do that, we can emerge. We can open up like that dragonfly and be there. Um, once we do all that, things are going to start to be effortless for us. Things are going to start to fall into place. You know, we need to look deep into ourselves and find out why it is we do the things that we do. And you have that fairies. You have the earth magic there. Um, you know, look at the earth as a blessing. Everything here on earth is magical, right? The way trees grow, the way the water, you know, goes down and it feeds the trees and it feeds the flowers and the new emerges, right? So look at life as all new. Look at those things as magic happening, okay? So that is what I have for you from Universe. So let's pull a card um, from Spirit. Um, Spirit, give me a card that my Leos need to hear. Give me something that they need to hear for the week, please. Dear you, Sometimes you just feel like no one understands you. You're not heard or even that you don't count. This, my dear, is a terrible illusion. And although your feelings tell you that abandonment is real, well, we who love you know better. You are never alone. And even when rejection happens, you are ultimately being protected so better things can replace what wouldn't have worked in the first place. Everyone on the side of the veil is watching over you and rooting for you. Ultimate success. Life loves you. We love you. And you are a unique spark of the divine and always connected to the light and to the source. You are always in our care. Trust and keep the faith. Love you always and forever. Sometimes we all feel this way, um, that people aren't paying attention to us, that um, we're not being heard, that we are being overlooked. Um, it's an illusion in our mind. Our mind does that. Um, sometimes people just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. You ever feel like sometimes you are talking and people are talking over you so you're not being heard? Um, you know, it, we all feel like that. Sometimes, you know, it, it, it happens. Um, sometimes we feel as if we are rejected, but that's not true. You are always protected. Um, you're protected in a way by spirit, by your angels, your guides, your God, whatever you believe in. They protect you. And, you know, you have to... Um, look at it as um, they are, they're protecting you from things that should not happen. They're protecting you from harm by doing that. So look at it that way. Um, they love you and they're here. They want to protect you. You have, just remember to believe in the divine. Whatever you believe in, um, angels, gods, God spirits, 
um, you know, any higher being that you believe in, you're connected to them and they are your light source. You know, they're there to protect you and care for you always. So you're never alone. Okay, so there is your card. So let's uh, pull a reflection card for you guys. Uh, a re reflection card that you guys can, uh, you know, reflect on for this week. A mantra card, as I say. Uh, reflection mantra card for my Leo's, please. I claim my own powers and I lovingly create my own reality. I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. You know, so ask for that, for more understanding so that you can, you know, n shape your world and your experiences. You know, ask the divine, whatever you believe in, um, to help you with that. And they will help you. I claim my power and I lovingly create my own reality. You're the only one that can create your reality. So I hope this helps you guys. Remember, this is a general reading and it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. That will give you that bigger picture into your full reading. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing week. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.